Hey guys, welcome back to another video and this is going to be I think the sixth video of my Teaching React series. So today we're going to be talking about states which is definitely one of the most important topics especially in the beginning for people who are learning React and I it might be controversial why I'm teaching states like early on but I think that it's not a, a hard concept to understand however it is very powerful and it will allow you guys to start building actual applications which is how I think it's the best way to learn React. So what are states? Basically in React you can have normal variables so like I can create a variable here so variable and give it first name and this will serve as a variable and I can set it equal to something so anything and whenever I update this variable it doesn't necessarily mean that this the variable will be rendered again so if I get this variable here and I just call this variable first name you can see that when I run the program the variable appears here however if I want to and I'll do it just for demonstration if I have a button and I want a change name right so I want the button to when it when it's clicked change the variable you'll see that in order to do this I just need to create an on click and uh, make first name equal to my real name so Pedro you can see that when I click the button it doesn't work the variable is set to Pedro the variable changed however the screen the web page will not render the change and this is what happens with vanilla JavaScript and how you do it in normal JavaScript is by like manually changing it however in react we have something called state which are variables that basically behave like they determine how the component or how the render state of the component will behave and how we do this is by basically creating a state variable and whenever it changes value the screen will be re-rendered and the change will appear in the screen so let's instead just let the button like be here and I'm going to create a state instead of a normal variable which will hold the same information and you guys will see that when I click the button the change will appear in the screen so how do you create a state it's different for class components but I'm going to do this in react so we're going to use something called a hook which is the use state hook so in order to create this we go and write const and wait actually I need to do this inside of the app, com app function I need to go and write const then open and close square brackets then on the first part of the open and close square brackets I have to write the name of the state so first name and on the second part I need to write a name of a function that will basically serve as setting the state equal to something else this is always the case this is always the format of how you create a state so let me write set first name and whenever I want to change the first name I can literally just come here and write set first name and put a different value here so I need to make this equal to use state and you can't forget to import state so come up here and import use state and you need to give it an initial value since this will, this will be a string I'll just give it an empty string or actually I'll give it equal to uh, John so this is a name we have it first but I want to change it to my name right so this is how I create a state however now I want to change it so when I come to the to the on click event when I come to whenever the button is clicked instead of just writing first name equals to whatever I need to call the set first name function so set first name and give it a different value I'll give it my name and over here you can see that I'm rendering already the state so when I refresh you'll see that um, what happened too many re-renders react limits okay I know why uh, when you put an on click event you need to open and close parentheses and you use this this kind of like syntax so you can see that I, op I, write, I write on click, I open and close parentheses, I put an arrow which is how you create a function in ES6 and you open and close curly braces. So if you guys want to stop the video just to copy and paste this or like understand how the syntax works, this is basically how you do it. So I can come here and see that the name is John, but if I want to change the name to Pedro, I can click here and now the screen re-renders and the state changes. I, it won't matter if I keep 
clicking it because currently when I click the button it will only set the name to Pedro but we can do it with many different ways for example I want to create this uh, a state called age and the function will be set age and the initial value will be my actual age so 19 and I want to render my age right so let me erase this currently it will appear in the screen that my age first name is not defined oh because I didn't change this so you'll, you'll see that in the screen will appear that my name is my, my age is 19 right so I want to click the button and increase my age whenever I click the button so I'll change this to increase age and when I come here I can just set the function that we created on the state and set age and since we want to get the current age and add one to it we can just call the age state so the age variable and add one to it and you can see that when I click increase age it will constantly be updating and increasing and re-rendering the screen so that it will satisfy the new state variable so this is basically how states work they're a fundamental part of react and they're really important you'll see yourself using states in most components and it will be definitely helpful to create a react application so i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope you guys could understand this topic because i can't uh, i can't emphasize it enough that this is really important so please leave a comment below if you guys enjoyed this video and i see you guys later